All right, I hope you guys are ready for another duel because I am. Let's go ahead and get it started. I'm running the Jinzo Vanity Monarch deck, whatever you want to call this deck. I have to go second. I do apologize, the frame rate looks like it's skipping a little bit. But, uh, hope you guys are excited to see another duel because I'm excited to actually be the one dueling. So, uh, Got the key card, uh, Stormforth. Uh, I'm gonna tribute summon their monster and uh, and summon my monster. All right, and I drew lost a soldier. All right, first thing first, Stormforth, uh, Shadow Monarch, and I get the pop swords. Pretty nice and easy there. Easy, quick 2400. Shrink, and my body as a shield as the protection card. He was trying to protect his photon monster the best way he could, and he did a good job for the most part. Definitely gotta be an XYZ play here. He'd be smart if he go for Castell. But I wonder if that's what he's gonna really go for. Put him back in my hand or something. Well, no, it wouldn't be smart to put it back. But no, it shuffled. Actually, Castell shuffled, so maybe that would be a good idea. I got Shrink for anything that sh he summons that may be stronger than my monster. I got my body of the shield if he wants to go the destruction route. So. He needs to shuffle it back in my deck, do something with it. What does this do? Oh, this is actually interesting that he decided to go this route. That was actually the right move. Now he can detach. Right, so he can, his monster still, still survives. That wasn't the move that I wanted him to do, <laughs> be honest with you. That's not what I was expecting. Bonds, Dark and Dragon. Since it only works when he's when he's destroyed, I'll just send it to the graveyard. Oh, Dark Art and Dragon, you come in handy sometimes. Mostly all the time. So the reason why that effect works for those who are, I guess, not familiar, Dark Arm Dragon allows me to target one monster and send the target to the graveyard, not necessarily destroy it, I'm just sending it. So since it wasn't destroyed, I still gain the effect. Alright, use this effect. Only thing he loses 500 points every time, but um, that's a small price to pay. And I got a uh, Dark Monarch. So when he's summoned, I can select the two cards from my opponent's graveyard, and they cannot be brought back. And two cards from the top of his deck. Uh, actually, two cards from his graveyard, banish him, two cards from the top of his deck to the graveyard. So that's pretty much how that works. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I can't, I can't attack. Right. That would be two cheese. Forgot about that. So maybe I probably should have dark armed it, attacked with dark arm, and then summoned them. But it's straight. I'll just go ahead and do it now. Unless he got a trap card waiting for me. What does this do?
Okay. So he's basically buying his stuff. Okay. Well, I thought that was gonna be game over, but it's not. Never even seen nobody run that trap car before. That was like bizarre. And there we go. There's the surrender. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna real quick show you the the, the deck uh, for everybody. All right, so real quick, here's the deck that I run. Actually, it should be in even 40 cards. I have to take out one of those in my body as a shield. Uh, two Jinzo, just to stop the trap effects. Only trap that really works against it is a uh, Silent Warning that I've noticed. That's the one that calling when everybody play. Uh, two Shadow Monarchs, uh, right, combined with Stormforth. Uh, tribute that monster, so not only do I pop that monster, but I can pop a back row card because of his ability to banish a card in the field. Vanity's Fiend, uh, same thing with Stormforth or by any of these two monsters, which I'll get to in a second, I contribute it. And uh, neither player can special summon monsters, which is which everybody does. Uh, Horus doesn't have to necessarily be in here, but when he's uh, summoned, he uh, he can't be, uh, he is unaffected by a spell effect, so not just targeted, but just unaffected in general. Uh, Dark Monarch, as you've seen, good card. Jinzo Jacker, if they have face down, I can add Jinzo to my hand and summon them if they have any trap cards face down. Treeborn Frog, if I don't have Roll Decree face down or any set card, I can bring him back from the grave and tribute. Solar Wind Drama, good card, I can special it. It's a level 5, special it, tribute it for any one of these monsters. Garbage Lord, pay 2,000 points, special summon it. Treeborn Frog, if I have any of the level 6s out, I can, I can get to level 8s uh, with. with Karibons, which is my tuner. Dark Arm Dragon, if I got three Dark Monsters, which I got Jinzo, Monarch, uh, Garbage Lord, Jinzo Jacker. I have a few Dark Monsters, so I can I can bring him out. Haven't really had to, but he's optional. Chaos Sorcerer got uh, Solar Wind Jammers, my lights, so I, and I got everything else dark, so he can be made uh, as, as well as a uh, Black Luster Soldier. Three Storm Four. Uh, March of the Monarchs, any tribute summon monster cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. Good card. Reload is very optional. I don't. I really don't even know why I have this in here. I could actually put something else in there, like enemy control or something. But uh, just because I get a bad hand, which maybe usually a bad hand consists of too many forbidden lances and stuff like that. Uh, that's their Book of Moon, Lance, Chalice to stop uh, monster effects. And lands to protect me from traps. Quick booster, since I'm running a lot of quick plays, because I'm running only two decree. Um, shuffle one quick play card from my graveyard to my deck, or if it's destroyed it while it's set, I can add, uh, I can search for a quick play card, which I go for either uh, Fire Doom Day or um, my Body of the Shield. Two shrink for anything only that's stronger than mine. Emergency teleport to draw out Karibons. Decree to stop traps, and have Jinzo as well. To as a precaution, Doomsday to summon uh, uh, two tokens. It can only be tribute for a dark monster, which most of my uh, all my tribute summon monsters are dark except for us, so that works as well. Um, my bio shield, quick um, extra deck, Blader, two Belize, uh, Scrap Dragon, Dark Arm Dragon, Dark End Dragon. I don't really I don't really go for a lot, but as you see, it's situational. Stardust, uh, Stardust Spark Dragon. Leo, because Leo can be made because he is a level, uh, what is he, level 10? So I can do, um, let's see, Jinzo, uh, Karibons, and something else. I forget. I've made Leo before. I, I really forgot how I can get it. I, uh, of course, I'm in the middle of a video, so I can't. But um, I've, I've made him before. I just forgot how. Uh, level 9, Ogre Rock Castle. Um, he can be made as well. Black Rose Dragon, Dark Strike Fighter for sevens, and then Photon Strike, Gauntlet Launcher, Zemaya, and M7. They're level sixes, so we get two level sixes. I need if I need to even go into them with the, with the two tribute summon monsters, I can do that. And M7 for uh, level se level six as well. So that's just an option. All right, guys. I know I rushed through that deck recipe, but you guys get the point. Alright, your boy Retro Peace.